all of them. What do Philip Fulmer, Eddie George, and Jason Rogers all have in common? They've all been honored by the Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame. News Channel 9's Brandon Evans tells us now why one of those honorees stands out from the rest. Brandon. Well, Josh and Latricia, Jason Rogers never won the Heisman Trophy or coached a college football team to a national championship, but that doesn't mean the Chattanooga negative doesn't have the heart of a champion. Well, when I first looked at it, it's like, wow. Jason Rogers says he was in awe when he first found out he'd be inducted into the Tennessee Sports Hall of Fame. Jason has deep roots right here in Chattanooga. He was Mr. East Hamilton and the 2014 Prom King. In 2012, he was the Special Olympics Region 4 Athlete of the Year. And he won multiple state gold medals in both skiing and swimming. He now attends Truesdale School in Cleveland, where he continues to showcase his athletic skills. And sports is really my favorite thing to do, Special Olympics. I just became the Special Olympics Tennessee ambassador this year. Jason has Down syndrome, but Truesdale School's executive director says he's never let it slow him down. He truly does exemplify to all of us what an athlete can be and always has such a great heart. Jason's big heart, love, and sportsmanship he shows on a daily basis are some of the reasons why the Hall is recognizing him with their Heart of a Champion Award, and that shows in one of Jason's latest endeavors. He also has most recently participated with a Wounded Warrior Project cycle, um, cycling event to where he and his father rode from Baton Rouge, Louisiana, all the way to Camp Lejeune, South Carolina. Jason says along the way he hit a pothole and busted both tires. But he didn't let that stop him. Yeah, if you fall down, don't give up. Come back on the bag. Well, Jason Rogers truly serving as an inspiration to others. You know what? He turns 24 this Friday. So how's he spending it? He's going to Orlando to help coach a volleyball team. Back to you. Brandon, thank you. Get back on the bike is great advice. His induction to the Hall of Fame happens June 18th at the Omni Nashville Hotel. Good for him. Good stuff.